Watch this video all the way to the end to understand how to actually increase your watch time. This is practical advice on how to do it. Go to YouTube Studio Beta, click a specific video, then go to Analytics. Once you're here, the keys to the kingdom are right here in this audience retention timeline. Great, click on that and you're gonna find out practical information that can help you increase your watch time, no more guesswork. This is gonna culminate right here in this final number of your average view duration. You want to generally speaking get that above 50% and then go from there. 60, 70, 80 will help you blow up on YouTube. But specifically, how do you get that number up? Well, the insights are all right here. They're ready for you to tap into. So look at the valleys in this timeline and look at when your video begins to slope at the end. What you want to do is eliminate what you were doing in the valleys, obviously, and then kill your video as soon as it starts to slope like this because clearly nobody cared so what you can do is just go in the timeline and look at the stuff you were talking about during the valley stop talking about that kind of stuff moving forward what were you showing on the screen that was so boring stop showing that kind of stuff on the screen moving forward and then what were you going on about as people were dropping out in your video stop going on about those kinds of things and just cut your video right there at the moment when the highest retention is happening that's how you eliminate the bad stuff but what about increasing the good stuff it's very important to replace the bad stuff with the good stuff obviously so these peaks especially if you peak after your viewership and go up above the beginning of your video even, that means you were doing something incredibly interesting. Viewers may have even replayed and gone back in time to look at something again. These are very, very good moments in your timeline and you want to do more of these moving forward. Here I'm actually demonstrating in this thing what I was actually talking about in the title of my video and here I'm actually demoing how to do what was in the title of my video. So my conclusion here here is I should do more demonstration in my videos and less yammering on about why I think it's important. Had I done these changes, eliminated these valleys, and then cut my video right here, I would have a 75% audience retention moving forward, not a 39%, and I would blow up on YouTube. Now I know what to do, and so do you.